everything's fine, everything's fine. Hello, hello, hello. I am the night nurse. Yeah, I've just been sent to check in on you. Mm-hmm. been going around at the minute. Yeah. Well, luckily, you still look very, very cute. You do, you do. Oh, you can call me Miss Nice. <laughs> See my little makeshift badge here? Unfortunately, I lost my official badge. I know. But I couldn't come to work without one. So, I promise to be extra nice and get you feeling better in no time, so you can get back to a nice, peaceful sleep. How does that sound? Perfect. Well, as I came in, I noticed you had a little candle over there, but it wasn't lit, and I thought, sometimes when you're not feeling too well, a nice flickering candle can be quite relaxing, so I hope you don't mind. Good, good. I'll make sure you drift off to sleep and then I'll turn it out just for safety. Yes. Now, why don't you tell me every one of your symptoms? Uh huh. You don't mind me perching like this, do you, on your bed? Oh, good. I can stand up if not. Okay. So tell me everything that's wrong. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Of course, of course. No, you're not making a fuss. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. It's all going to be fine. I promise. Mm -hmm. Now, your symptoms do sound a little bit like the typical sort of cold that's going around. They do. You can feel a little bit sort of feverish though. Feel a little bit hot and then a bit cold. Mm-hmm. Got a bit of a sore head. Yes. All normal symptoms, unfortunately. But the good news is, is you should start to feel better, especially after a good night's sleep. Okay? Lovely. Now, have you taken anything to try and get yourself feeling a little bit better? Uh-huh. Oh, good. You sought advice from the doctor on that. That's always the best thing to do. That's good. Well, I'll just try and do some things to help relieve any of your symptoms then. Fantastic. To start with, I uh, can see you've got a nice, cool-looking drink there. Would you like some water? Yes, it's very, very important to stay nice and hydrated. If you like, I can get you anything you fancy. If you fancy perhaps a nice hot chocolate. They always say to feed a cold and starve a fever. Or is it the other way around? I think it's that way around. <laughs> I should know, right? Yes. So if there is anything you fancy, I'm sure I can rustle it up for you. Just the water for now. Of course. Here you are. I'll just hold it there for you. So try and drink as much as you can. Okay. Lovely. You let me know if you need any more. Okay. I'm just going to pop that there. Lovely. Okay. Good. Now you mentioned you were feeling a little bit warm. Okay, let's have a feel. Hmm, yeah, you do feel a bit warm. You're not burning up though, but you do feel a little bit, yeah, a little bit warmer than normal. Okay, I've got a nice cold flannel. Would you like that on your head? Yeah, of course, I'll get that for you. Oh, forgotten to put my glasses on. Dearing me. I have to excuse me. 
sometimes I do like to wear these at night just to get a closer look. Yes, yes. There we go anyway. I'm also going to pop some gloves on, okay? I've popped all my bits and bobs up here, so I'll just place those behind me for a moment. Get some gloves on. all of these health and safety regulations these days. So let's get some gloves on. Do you feel the same or worse than you did last night? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Well, I'd imagine by tomorrow you'll feel a little bit better and then probably a couple more days after that and you should be back to normal. Yes. If your symptoms get worse or they just continue pers to persist at the uh, rate they are at the moment, then do pop back to your doctor. Yes. Okay. Got our gloves on. Okay. I always think this makes things look a bit clinical, but it's just for health and safety. Okay, so I've got a nice cold flannel. Oh, it is icy cold, icy cold. Okay, so I'm just going to dab this over your head. Dab, 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 dab. How does that feel? Nice. Oh, good. I'll come around the side of your head as well. Sometimes down the cheek here, it can be quite nice. There we go, nice cool flannel or washcloth. <laughs> I've always used the term flannel though. There we go. That should help start to bring your temperature down just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, of course. Let's hold that on your forehead just a little bit longer. There we go. Lovely. And would you like to give me your wrists? Yeah. What I'm going to do is just hold the flannel on there, okay? Oh, it's quite noisy outside tonight, isn't it? Is lots of cars passing by. Mm. I wonder what it would be like to live in a completely silent world. Yes, in a way, I think it would be quite odd. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> let's hold that there. Whenever you feel, whether it's sort of hot or cold, you always want to pay attention to your wrists and also your feet. Especially when you're cold with your feet. If you make your feet nice and warm, the rest of you will start to feel warm. Okay, just on the wrist there. Feeling a bit better? Good, good. Just relax. It's all going to be fine. Okay. You alright? I'm going to put that on the side just there. You let me know if you want any more of that. Okay. Good. Now you mentioned about your sinuses feeling a little bit blocked. Yeah. Okay. Do you mind if I just have a little feel around that area? Yeah. Let's have a little feel. Hmm. Does it hurt here? A bit of pressure. Have you been sneezing a lot? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Well, they don't feel too inflamed. I don't think you've got a sinus infection or sinusitis or anything like that. I just think they're a little bit typically swollen because you've got a cold. Okay. Um, does it feel blocked at all? Just a little, a little bit on that side. I have a little, um, 
something that you can just smell. This is a little sort of, um, well, it's an obus um, or obus oil uh, inhaler, and it's really good for block sinuses. Would you like a little smell? Don't worry if you can't sort of sniff. Just allow that to go around there. It's quite strong. <laughs> it is. It's really good at just opening those sinuses. Yeah, it is. It's really good. I'll just hold that there for you. Yeah, good. I have to say, I really love the smell of these. Yes, they're very, very good when you've got a blocked nose. Lovely. Do you like a little bit more of your water? You're okay. Okay. Ah, oh, well, I think you're already starting to a little bit better. Just a little bit. Yes. See? See, all you needed was a little bit of attention. A little bit of reassurance. Yes. Yes. Everything's going to be fine, I promise. Now, what have you been doing to make yourself feel nice and happy whilst you've been feeling unwell? That doesn't seem right. No. Come on, have you been watching anything nice? Mm hmm Oh, very cool, very cool. Bit of Stranger Things. Nice, nice. Well, I think you'd rather like The Sandman. Mm hmm I've just finished that. It's very, very good. I always think when you're not well, it's a lovely, lovely excuse to delve in to a little bit of binge watching. <laughs> Maybe you can uh, watch them tomorrow. Yes. So you've got to get a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. Let's have a little feel of that temperature. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's feeling a bit more normal. Yeah. Just here, a little bit congested. Let me have a little feel of your. Um, your chest, just have a listen to your breathing, okay? I'm just going to ask you to breathe in and out, just nice and gently for me, okay? Oh dear. Okay. Breathe in. And out. 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 And breathe in. And breathe. I can't see any causes for concern there. Just a little bit of standard congestion, but nothing ma major on the tubes. Now your breathing sounds normal. It's really important to keep hydrated because that's going to keep everything moving and nice and loose. Okay? Yeah. How about I give you a little pillow? Should we prop you up a little bit? Maybe just a little bit. You can have my very special one that I like to bring yeah? Okay. You can have this one. This is my most favourite, favourite little pillow. And I give it to only the most special people. Mm-hmm. So you have to look after it. Yes? So I'm going to pop this just behind you. Okay. I'm going to pop that just there. How does that feel? Is that alright? We'll just adjust that. Feel okay? A bit better? Good. Yeah, sometimes when you're laying quite flat, it can be a little bit uncomfortable when the breathing feels a little bit congested. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Well, I think maybe what would be good next? 
is if I have a little look in your ears and your throat as well. Okay, just need to locate my little um, torch. I had here somewhere. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in your throat first. Gonna need you just to do a big R uh, for me. Okay? Lovely. Alright, let's have a little look. Okay. Lovely. Okay. Mm-hmm. any sore throat sweets at all? Oh, which ones did you have? Um, okay. So, you don't want to be having anything with sugar? I, I know, I know. And I know I did just offer you a hot chocolate. I did. But, when you have something that you're keeping in your mouth for your throat, you don't want to be having something sugary because it can really aggravate it. Yeah. Have you got any sugar-free ones? No. I'm not sure I brought any with me in my bag, I have to say. Hmm. But the good news is, is that you can make it feel better by having more water. So can I tempt you? In a moment. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. What I'm going to do as well, actually, is I'm going to have a little look in your eyes. They do look a little bit red. Okay, so I'm just going to have a little look. This will be a little bit Right, but only be for a little, little while, okay? So, let's have a little look. Okay. And would you mind just following the light for me? Yeah, just follow the light. following the light for me. Doing really, really well. Okay. Lovely. Your eyes do look a little bit red, but the pupil reactivity looks normal. I see no extra cause for concern. So they feel a little bit watery? Just, just a little bit. Okay, I may have some drops in my bag. Let's have a look. Hmm, I've got some refreshing eye drops here. What I'll do is, I'll leave those with you. If in the night you wake up and they're feeling a little bit watery, your uh, initial reaction may be just to leave them be. But actually, you can do with lubricating them to keep them nice and fresh. Okay, so you can pop a drop of those in. They're nice gentle ones. Okay, you're welcome. It's fine. I'm going to have a little look in your ears now, okay? Just stay where you are. Okay, have a little look around here. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pull down just here. Okay. I'm just going to have a look the other side as well. Let's just have a little look just here. Okay. 
Okay, quite similar. So I can see the ears are a little bit blocked, not too much, and because you've got a bit of a sore head, I'm not going to do any extraction. No, okay. Um, it's also quite natural for them to feel, um, you know, when you get the little sort of itchy, scratchy feeling in your throat, you can feel it in your ears as well. Yeah, so I can sense that you'll be having that at the moment. Mm -hmm. Please don't clean them out with that. Well, what I used to refer to as ear wigglers, but of course, they're little, little cotton buds. Don't clear them out with those because you can push the wax further down and that can cause real problems with your earring. Yeah, we don't want to damage the eardrum. No. Okay. Just honestly having water, cleansing through. Water is like the, the magic to everything. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Let me pop this down. Now, let's have a little feel of your head again, okay? Hmm, feeling a little bit cool. You feeling a little bit cool? A little bit? Okay. Well, it's quite normal with, um, with a fever going hot and cold. Yeah, yeah, you're not, uh, you're not too cold, and again, you're not too, too warm. Um, would you like a little hot water bottle? Yeah, again, I brought one with me because I wasn't sure if you'd be feeling hot or cold. Um, again, this is my very special little one, but you can have it to keep you warm. So, this is a nice little one, and it's nice and warm. It's not too hot. Where would you like this? Sometimes I like this behind my back. Where would you like it? Yeah, of course. Let's pop it behind your back. Just there. That's lovely. Oh, if you just sit forward just a little bit. Lovely. Okay, perfect. Oh, don't keep that on you for too long, though. No, because then you'll get too hot. <laughs> you will. You will, I promise you, you'll be feeling better in no time. Let's give you a little bit more water, okay? A little bit more water. Alright. There we go. Lovely. Alright. Let's pop that to one side. Perfect. Ah, oh, dearie me. Well, I have to say, I really it's so lovely to make lovely people like you start to feel better. Mm -hmm. Well, especially during the night shift because people can get a little bit distressed when they're trying to sleep and it's nice to be able to offer some comfort. Exactly. You are so, so welcome. Is there anything else I can do for you at all? to make you feel a little bit more, more relaxed. Mm hmm Of course, I can stay with you a little bit longer. That's no problem at all. All right. Let me take my gloves off as I've done my main examination. Let's take these off now. There we go. Now, we we'll just relax, stay nice and calm. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to be feeling better in no time at all, I promise. Yes, yes. Well, sometimes when you're doing home visits, you uh, never know the, the state that someone's going to be in, how unwell they're going to feel. But I've been doing a lot of these calls recently with people just colds and often it can be to do with change of season. Yeah, so when the weather starts to change. Um, but these types of things, uh, I always sort of like to give a week. Mm -hmm. A couple of days sort of coming, two, three days here and then a couple of days getting over it. Yeah, you'll be absolutely fine. 
you will, you will, you will. And with that, would you like to close your eyes and I'll just stay here with you until you drift off again? Yeah, of course. Don't be silly, that's why I'm here. You close your eyes, okay? Oh, that's much better. Just want you to relax and stay nice and calm. Everything's going to be all right. Okay. There's no need to worry or stress. You're going to feel better in no time at all. Just drift off into the land of dreams and allow the Sandman to help you find your perfect dream take you to your favourite place and I think that's a lovely reason to want to drift off so you get to be your favourite place. Just relax. Everything is going to be fine. I'm going to stay right here with you until you drift off. And even if you don't hear my voice, just know that I'm staying right here with you until you fall asleep. You're all safe.